My name, Curtis Townsend, and I'm fairly new to the Indianapolis area. I came here in February 1st, 2019, and I went around Indianapolis area close to home to find a church because I'm a believer to get involved in a church where you live because part of being in the church is the community as well. And so live and go to church in the same community. So I have found Castleton Christian Church through all the various different churches I attended. The last small group that I was involved in was with G-Man. He's one of the elders. And Gary Jacobs, and I just call him G-Man, and just established a real good bond and friendship from basically the first time I visited the church. And there's a story behind that, but we'll have to say that for another time. I, and so the last group was from September of 2019 through July of 2020. That's how long we usually go. And we studied the book of Hebrews and James with the main books that we were studied. And then we did a little bit of Genesis. Ah, oh, man. Woo. Uh, it encompasses in a lot of different aspects. One of the aspects that it covers is the people you get to meet. So, of course, when you join the group, you know a few people from coming to church. And then when you get to the small group the first time and you see who actually joined, who's in your group, and you haven't really seen them at church before, yet you really haven't talked to them. So this gives you an opportunity to bond with them on that personal level and just really get to know them. And then on the other aspect is, it's up to me it's kind of like going back to school. Some people like online schooling and some people like face-to-face. -face. I like face-to-face -face because of the interaction that you get beyond just reading the Bible, getting other people's perspective on a topic or subject is insurmountable to just learning and being able to apply God's word. The small group will help an individual out in a couple of ways. One, it helps you to grow as a person individually, not just from a Christian standpoint, but just also from within yourself. If you consider yourself, you're not too good in small groups or in groups, then that would help you to grow in that area. If you're not one to, you don't mind small groups or you don't mind being in a group, but you don't want to speak or talk, through the course of the time from September to July, that would help you to overcome some of that and you'll be surprised the growth you'll have within yourself and on top of that, learning God's word and then applying it. And that is one of the biggest things as a Christian we can all quote, quote scripture. We can tell you if you're down, but can we use it on ourselves? And the small group helps you to apply biblical principles to yourself.